often on a daily basis, positive Christianity will have prayers involving family, family members. Sometimes it is because of disharmony or because of the two souls clashing. Well, every member of a family, even though they bond with the same DNA, they are separate souls, individual entities. And sometimes we are in a certain family group for soul growth. In the life of every family, there are moments of frustration, there's moments of disappointment, and I'm afraid to say lots of them. But for those who are fortunate enough to live in the presence of a close-knit, caring clan, the rewards far outweigh the frustration. No family is perfect, including yours, including mine. But despite the inevitable challenges and hurt feelings of family life, your clan is God's gift to you. That little band of men and women and kids and babies is a priceless treasure on temporary loan, on temporary loan from God. Give thanks for the gift of family. Enjoy the comfort of each other's presence and determine that you and your family will serve God. In Joshua 24, verse 15, the writer talks about his family. It says, You must choose for yourselves today whom you will serve. As for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. It is an important thing to keep your family under the umbrella of God's love. And it's an important thing to worship together, perhaps even more important than dining together at the dining table. It is that bond that will keep you strong. Sandra Day O'Connor has written, having family responsibilities and concerns just has to make you a more understanding person. And perhaps, in the end, that's what it's all about soul growth of each individual family member and learning through that growth that love is always the answer. God bless you. I wish you a wonderful blessing of God and I extend it to your entire family.